What's up guys? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Your boy is back with another Bad Tattoo videos. It's been a while since I've done any regular content and if you for those of you that don't know, the last few weeks now, I've been dialed in on editing and uploading my Puerto Rico vlogs, and vlogs take forever. That's the only downside of that, but we are back on the regular upload schedule. Make sure you guys check out the Puerto Rico vlogs if you guys are into travel vlogs or food tours, and yeah, but now we are back into the three to five videos a week, hopefully. Um, I'm going to do my best to keep these rolling out, whether it's bad tattoo videos or tattoo videos in general, tier list videos, uh, news, anything and everything. Whatever you guys want, I will do. And yeah, with that being said, we are back on Reddit looking at r slash bad tattoos because what better way to, you know, revamp all my videos than criticizing and laughing at people's horrible mistakes that just happen to be permanent. All right, let's get into this. Also, something that I'm really happy about. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. Let me show you guys real quick. I bought one of these stream decks. This is going to make things much more easy to just switch cameras. Like, look at that. One, two, switch back. What? It's crazy. All right, anyways, I'm a little nerding sesh. Uh, all right, r slash bad tattoos. Tattoos. Let's look at what people got going. Currently watching this cover up go down on TikTok Live. Oh my God. Wait, I'm confused. How is this? Well, no, that's not going to be able to cover that. Wait, am I tripping? Hold up. Whoops. You guys see this too, right? I'm not the only one. Like, how is this going to work? They're going to put black over... I mean, white over that black to make the knife, I'm assuming, and it will fade away like super quick. I uh, got to read the comments of this one. Scream mask looks sick. I mean, but it's not really a good cover up. I don't think it's just going to be a blob. I think at least an hour and a half. Here's the finished product. All right, let's see this. Oh, someone already said that's 100% better than I thought it would be. Oh, whoa. What the hell? That is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, you can definitely still see the lines within. I don't know if you if I can zoom in. Oh, it doesn't really allow me to zoom in much, but you can see the lines of the old tattoos, but this is not at all that bad. That was, I mean, fine compared to what this was going to be. Uh, it's still not a great tattoo by any means. Like I'm not a huge fan of the tattoo, but better than I thought from this, like this looks like it's not going to even work, but I mean, good for them. Influencer Drew Basham gets a tattoo in, to honor her daughter. I'm assuming Yerbal Bows. No, no, that's IBS. I'm, I, I'm, I'm the worst. IBA. That's. I'm assuming that's the daughter's initials. Oh, sorry. I didn't even show you guys. But here's a ribbon. That is such a simple tattoo and doesn't even look like great. Maybe it was on purpose supposed to look like that. I mean, it's not the worst tattoo I've seen. It's not the best tattoo I've seen. Uh, there's definitely better ribbons out there but yeah uh, nothing too much to say about that this artist i found fond fond in instagram all right let's see okay so i'm assuming they're gonna cover this up so another cover-up tattoo here what what's up with this black part right here okay the flowers look great i'm confused on the concept the black shading is just to <laughs> black it out whoa oh, so this is one specific artist okay i Okay, the flowers aren't complete garbage in this. Like, the flowers aren't complete garbage, but I'm confused as to the concept behind just blacking this part out. I mean, it just kind of doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah. All right, next tattoo that they did was terrible. <laughs> what is that? It looks kind of like a monster. It looks like a tongue right here. Wow. And also, look at the inconsistencies between the, t the shading of the top to the bottom. It looks like it's almost like the, the needle... Or the tattoo gun ran out of ink up here. They started from the bottom. Now they're here. That is so bad. Dude, I'm pretty sure this looks like one of those like flower monster Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Wait, what was the name of it? Yeah, this is what I was talking about. It looks like Preda Plant Chimera, Chimera Flastia. Flastia. Man, these Yu-Gi-Oh ones are crazy names. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks so bad. Dude, dude, that looks exactly like it. That's crazy. We go back to this and it actually does look like that. All right, next one. Ariel. I mean, this is actually kind of cute. Pretty like, wow, it's crazy to go from these two tattoos to that one. Because I mean, this is not bad. I'm not a huge fan of the whites to try to bring out the color. But I mean, the bold lines are good, except for the hands. Hands could have been done better, but um, not a bad tattoo, considering it's a cartoon tattoo. And then what's the fourth one? Concept could have been better, execution not terrible. So these last tattoos, two, two tattoos weren't terribly executed, but the, the concept is pretty goofy. Um, but yeah, we move on. Oh, what is this? 
Regardless of who you are, are voting for this election, you cannot deny that this tattoo is phenomenal. This was the first session. We can't wait to have this patriot back in to finish Mr. Trump's up so he could... Man, this is like... There's like a... Wait, okay. Let me lock in. I'm terrible at reading. This is the first session. We can't wait to have this patriot back in to finish Mr. Trump up so he looks his best before the election. Okay, that's definitely a run-on sentence. You could have added another comma in there. Ah, uh, that is not that good of a tattoo wow to hype this up as a phenomenal tattoo is kind of preposterous let's let's dive into this for a second here so the reason this is a bad tattoo is right here look at the eye because inconsistency this eye by itself looks solid this eye looks like he got bit by something that he's allergic to like a he's allergic to a honeybee got bit it swelled up and now it looks also cartoonish the nose looks crooked like mine and if you guys didn't know i mean you guys can't tell but i broke my nose once uh when i was playing basketball a long time ago and i just never fixed it so it's like slightly crooked and that's what it looks like also like there's no line right here so it looks like the nose just blends into his like chin or mouth area or mustache area i guess this is not a fun honestly this is a phenomenally bad tattoo I, I might even argue there's nothing like look at this fucking what is this chin that doesn't look like a chin that looks like a deformed boulder like a rock if you go outside to the forest and you find your average rock this might be what it looks like wow this is a terrible tattoo uh, i love how this ear is super detailed and then this one is like mega ultra faded it looks like if you chopped it right here in this diagonal line, the left side, that's a fine tattoo. Right side, it just gave up on life. That is not a good tattoo by any means. At least you can tell what it is, but in the worst way. Portrait tattoos are also tough to do. Why would you ask anyone to do portrait? Also, a portrait of Trump of all people too. Preposterous ass tattoo. Imagine if he doesn't win. That would be crazy. I think tattoo Trump had a stroke. Yep. Looks about right, because why would one side look completely different? LMAO, F-O, what a dumbass, whoever got this tattoo. Yeah, for real, that's exactly kind of how I feel. The face is warped, and there's a few features that make it stand out as Trump. One of them being the Facebook post. The shading is technically not bad, but the shaping and form of the face is completely wrong. If you're going to support a piece of shit, at least do it right. Okay, whoa. But uh, was that the case? I mean, the shading isn't terrible. Yeah, they're right. The shading isn't terrible, but not a great tattoo overall i once read a book series where the premise was if there was a button that could destroy the world there would be more people wanting to push that button than there would be defenders of the button okay deep take deep take all right let's get back to the bad tattoos man oh whoa i've been sitting on this one for men last one is my fave what the hell is this i mean this is a fucking shit tattoo and i'll tell you why the fading on this is going to be ridiculous the bottom elephant makes somewhat sense not the best tattoo but it has much better line this type of color i almost i want to see this with color wait i wish i could see this with color it, it might end up looking like a blob all right let's look at the next one this looks like a tattoo that was done by an artist back in like the 80s like it, it, it was done before the better technology it's not a good tattoo man i was trying to be nice by saying like oh it just looks like a no it's it's a bad tattoo what the fuck why do people pay for this it, interesting concept though like the fox i like i like that look at the lines on this i don't know if they purposely meant it to be like so zigzag it looks like michael j fox did this tattoo <laughs> oh shit man also the inconsistency of the flowers too this one is red oh that could be just the the skin but i don't know it just doesn't look right liberty i, I mean lip tattoos do them if you want it's it's up to you Lib this is liberty they fade terribly also it's very inconsistent because if you move even a little bit the tattoo gun like is gonna look wonky like this eye right here uh slanted but I mean, it's a lip tattoo. I can't really judge that one because, again, it's a lip tattoo. Oh, this one's sick. This is actually a pretty well done tattoo. I mean, a lot of like small details that might fade a little bit, but this is not bad. I could see someone asking for this and getting this like exactly as it, as they asked. Okay, this looks goofy to me. I can't tell if this is like supposed to be slanted on purpose or if it's naturally slanted, but it is a slanted cross. This is like a Nordic style tattoo or something. 
I mean, I don't know. This guy might have actually asked for this. I could see someone asking for this very tattoo, so I can't even shit on that. But it doesn't look good. Man, okay. Just lack of creativity. Oh, God. This one's really pretty bad, guys. Oh, man. This could have been done so much better. It's not even realism, but it's also not like cartoon either. It's just... Looks like a terrible drawing. Idea is so brilliant. Like the teardrop little thing that is the eyeball. If you got, if you paid an extra couple hundred bucks, which is, I know is a lot, but like for something permanent on you and you found an artist that would have done this in a either regular realism, a surrealism or like a semi-realism type of way, this would have looked just a million times better. Uncle George. Oof. Dude, greens, like that light green is going to fade so fast. It's going to end up looking pretty bad. I, I'm, I'm curious to see if you can tell if it's a fish in probably 10 years. I'm Maybe because there's some black lining or I, it looks like dark green right here. But this part is all going to fade, this little area right here. But hey, uh, shout out Uncle Georgie, RIP. Oh my God, this is, look at the fucking beak, bro. At least when it fades, the outline will be there, but... I mean, not a good tattoo. It's These look like tattoos that someone who has been tattooing for the first year have done. Like, you get some good ones, you get some really bad ones. All right, let's move on. Flaming Lips or Eye of Sauron? Okay. Wow, we are blown away by blank retention of this incredible Eye of Sauron. Okay, so it's going for Eye of Sauron. He finished up recently. This is most... This is mostly healed with the highlights being fresh. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, I got many things to say about this tattoo. First things first is why the fuck would anyone choose to get this here? Second, I want to say it looks like flaming lips. It looks like it, it could it could be many things. It looks like a late a lady's part. Uh, private parts could be could be but my my issue i mean it does look somewhat resembles the iris iron but my issue is the tattoo artist that did this should know better and i'm not i'm not a tattoo artist so i can't really talk too much shit but I, i'm friends with tattoo artists my tattoo artist is a pretty good tattoo artist i would say he does most of my work he would never let me do this coloring because it's yellows like this anything really bright in color yellow whites and stuff that fades extremely fast so all this detail right here will be gone. The only thing that's going to stick is faded, the faded red, which will end up looking a little bit more orange because of how bright the red they chose, and then also the blacks. So it's going to end up looking like a blood bloody abyss. It's going to look like a bloody mess, might I say. Not a good tattoo, not a great choice of tattoos, but this is kind of kind of on the person who asked for this as well. So that's all I'm gonna say. Never change Facebook Marketplace. Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Did they get this in Facebook Marketplace? I'm confused. This is a wild <laughs> face tat. I mean, he's got another face tat though, so it is what it is. I mean, I here's my only critique. This isn't a bad face tattoo. If you're like really into ta face tattoos, I guess, if you've already got a couple, send it. Why didn't he move this up as he go? Or like maybe his hairline moved, but I would keep tattooing it as the hairline moves so he blends in. So now it just looks like a fucking empty lightning bolt out of nowhere or lightning strike out of nowhere. Let's see this next one. What's this next one? A lip biting a bullet, but like cartoon. Li I mean, this is like ignorance style, so I can't even shit on it because this guy might have wanted it to be ignorant. So nah, I'm not going to say anything about that one. This is why you go to portrait artists for portrait tattoos. No way did they ask this for a portrait. I don't believe that. That's because this is Katniss, right? This is Katniss Everdeen uh, from hunger games and i'm assuming this is peter no they must have gone for cartoon there's i i find that hard to believe that this person asked for a portrait because look at look at the rest of their tattoos portrait tattoos would have been completely different however with that being said cartoon version of this this does look terrible this looks like a king of the hill version of katniss everdeen i mean their noses look preposterous i i want to keep shitting on it but in some for some reason i kind of like like it I don't know. Uh, some of the poor choices in coloring right here, but you know, when it fades, you'll still be able to tell what it is because of all the black outlining. I, I don't, I don't hate it. I weirdly enough, I'm curious what the comments say. Personally, I don't hate it. I just hate the noses. It looks like an ignorant style of it. Uh, they asked for it. This looks like the heroes in a Christian comic book track. <laughs> Katniss is supposed to be emancipated in the books, so they kind of got that part right. 
I've never seen the film, but I instantly knew what it was referring to. Yeah, see, like, that's a good thing. I feel like this is intentionally looks, this looks this way intentionally. It's like a style choice, kind of. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I find it extremely hard to believe that someone would ask for a portrait and it comes out like this, especially if they got another tattoo like that next to it. Interesting style mix up. Hip hop duo atmosphere posted this on his Facebook. Can you guess what it says? No, I cannot. What the fuck does that say? What the hell is that supposed to say? Like, okay, that's an E. That's an F. Is that, what the fuck is this, bro? All right, who the fuck chose to get this? This is a terrible idea. All right, I'm moving on from that one. My jaw dropped. Oh, that is a bad tattoo. That looks like you let someone get a tattoo gun and you're sitting in their kitchen floor and it's a free tattoo. It's their first time ever doing it. Oh my God. Wait, is this the same tattoo? Oh my God, it is. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh my God. There is no freaking way. I was here thinking, wow. Okay, so this is my thought process of these tattoos. A pretty interesting, bad shit tattoo someone probably did on their basement, right? Or their kitchen floor. Okay, I see. Now they added stuff to it. It looks like a horror tattoo. It looks like a tattoo purposely done to be scary, like Halloween type beat. You know, October 31st is coming up. Oh shit, it's actually a portrait of someone. They look terrifying. Dude, that looks like a Babadook type beat, bro. This looks so scary. And this is what the portrait was supposed to be. Like, she looks like a normal Dude, that is crazy. If someone did this as a portrait of me and it was this scary looking, I mean, I couldn't even complain. I looked like a fucking horror character. Also, eyes are off. The inconsistency of the eyes. It looks like something Courage the Cowardly Dog would come up with because it's like supposed to be like scary. I don't know. That's crazy. That, that in, insane. All right, man. I knew this was a good idea. Looking at bad tattoos. This this brings my mood up instantly every time. I just, guys, I, I'm sorry. I still cannot get over this, bro. What? All right, all right. We move on. We move on. My sister's Lola Bunny tattoo. I mean, uh, yeah. That's that's gnarly. That's bad. I can't like it's blotted so bad right here like all of it meshed together and fading over time too I mean I you can kind of tell maybe it's Lola hard to tell though I mean this is I don't know that's a pretty shit tattoo uh, this this area I mean the middle part isn't terrible but the face is just god awful all right let's find another good one before we close this up found this on my local classifieds page classifieds okay someone's promoting their friend wish wishing is true free for wishing is for i don't fucking know bro i can't even read as it is and this is making it harder is that wishing i don't even know someone in chat tell me what the fuck does it say okay uh, so this is assassin's creed this is a bad tattoo look at the fucking skull part i i know i know this is like kind of downplaying a lot but i i think i could do better than this and that's coming from a guy who has taken a tattoo class and purposely does not tattoo because i know my hands are shaky but this this come on guys this is god awful right here this area what the fuck all right next tattoo that this person did yeah i mean you can even tell with the way that they shade and they do their work this guy's extremely inexperienced this is someone who's doing it at home for free he just bought a gun on amazon and just figuring it out like god what the hell is that this looks like a tattoo that someone who is 16 who didn't get their mother or dad's approval and let their friend who just got a new tattoo gun tattoo on them and now they go to high school thinking they're fucking badass because they got a tattoo before everyone else that's what it thinks it reminds me of this is a kyle tattoo total kyle tattoo all right so utah fan in here okay wow that is even done badly like the inconsistency of the actual bolding of the line this like this part's already faded and then this part's like it looks like so when you're tattooing at least in my experience with dabbling and then also with my tattoo artist and you're tattooing it whether it's fake skin or skin in general right the consistency of your line stroke right here is what dictates the consistency of the line throughout right and you can tell that this person keeps going in and out of the consistency of how deep they go with the tattoo gun and when i say consistent i mean like the depth of it uh, this person's going in and out and they're having to go over and like draw like as if you're sketching in a sketchbook, which that's not how tattooing works unless you're going for that style of look. But this guy has no clue what he's doing because you can see even in the circle, the inconsistencies within it. It looks like he didn't really like have a shader needle. It looks like he did this all with like one needle shape. I mean, sorry, size. 
as well. All right, Venom. This is probably his best tattoo so far, and it's still complete shit. I mean, this guy has no fucking clue what he's doing. There's, like, missing teeth and shit. Oh, my God. Who let this guy tattoo you? Like, that? that's on you, bro, for even letting someone tattoo you like this. That is god-awful. Man, all right. Well, nothing like shitting on people is permanent ink. And we are never going to stop doing these videos, hopefully, because as long as you guys are watching them, I'm going to keep making them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys like videos like this or my tier list or any type of my videos, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below what kind of videos you guys want to see because I am down to do anything, guys. I'm, I'm like a Swiss Army knife. Or I want to be. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the whole ordeal. Comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.